And with weather like this, Rebecca, why would you want to travel anywhere else? I know. It was why, so nice today. Why risk getting a bump? I know. <laughs> Just stay it's, here. It's yeah. great. <laughs> today really shaped up nicely, mm -hmm. too. We still have a few spotty showers out there, but, you know, largely it has been a spectacular day. And mm -hmm. we get one tomorrow, too. In fact, it looks like we have less of a chance of a shower tomorrow. So it's a good time to get out there. Right now, you can see how gorgeous it is outside. Right here at King 5, looking out from the rooftop, we can see some beautiful weather. 79 degrees already at SeaTac. So it is a warm day, especially when that sun came out. We really started to warm quickly. And I want to point out, too, that our humidity at this point is only 39% feels a lot better outside. You know, we kind of had to change up the direction of our winds coming on shore to really get this nice feeling that we typically get in the summertime where the Pacific Ocean cools us off and makes us quite comfortable. You look at our school net station on Cougar Mountain and the same story, a little bit of a breeze, but sunshine is the big story. And that well, I want to point out the breeze here. We, we may get gusts anywhere from 20 to 30 miles an hour as this winds coming out of the north or keeping us on the more clear and dry side just not impacting us enough to eliminate rain showers. We've got one just to the northwest of Bremerton, one around Brennan that may be tracking up on Quilcene shortly. A little farther south, we got a few spotty showers too around Oakville and Elma. Now this chance of a shower will return to some of the same areas tomorrow, but it's less likely because it appears that we don't have an actual disturbance floating through. Now that's a big trough of low pressure. Tiny little disturbances in this, and I tried to highlight a few of them. But for instance, you can see that little spin here of low pressure. That's the indication that we got that little disturbance rolling through, and that's what's going to bring us that risk of a rain shower, probably more likely as we go into early Sunday morning or Sunday night into Monday. But let's go ahead and look at the University of Washington high resolution model that is modeling a few of these spot showers right around the northeast slopes of the Olympic Mountains, and that is today at 5:30. So we've got some a little activity around Ashford too. Fairly accurate. So let's put it in motion, show you how with the next chance of a little rain shower is going to be right around the South Cascades and that is overnight into the morning hours tomorrow, 4.30 a.m. That skirts up through the Cascades. We get enough of a northerly wind flow through the sound. There's no rainfall popping up on these uh, in this particular area. So things are looking good for tomorrow through 7.30 and then we get into tomorrow night into early Monday and here's that little disturbance coming through. We'll probably have a few morning showers on Monday and then we'll get to clear skies in the afternoon. So here's what we got tonight. Mid to upper 50s for low temperatures. Expect the clouds to come back to us and we're going to have uh, temperatures mainly topping out in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. Nice weather. Now going back to our Monday, you can see we still have that chance of a shower, especially the morning and then again in the evening. A chance of a shower, but largely looks kind of drier and normal temperatures too on Tuesday. But then we get a soggy, cool rest of the week. Starting Wednesday, areas of rain, highs lucky to hit 70.